All right, guys, we just wrapped up uh, the greatest place on earth where dreams come true and memories are made or whatever, however you want to say that. But we're not talking about the park. We're talking about the ponds inside the park. Man, to start off when we got there, Corey started really catching them on the popping frog. But then I pulled the coal shad out. I started catching so many on the coal shad. But uh, let me walk you through the frog setup and then I'll show you guys the coal shad we were throwing. All right, the popping frog Corey was throwing was honey shad. Now this frog, I mean, you can see all the teeth marks on it. That's like, I mean, I don't know how many he caught on that, uh, that trip, but it was quite a few fish. And the frog is really nice. Uh, it's the Berkeley Swamp Lord. Something that's really cool about it is the thinner legs uh, allow you to walk that frog. You know, a lot of people pop that pop a popping frog where it's just splooshing through the water. This one actually does that well. And also if you want to walk the dog action, it does that really well too. It also has Fusion 19 hooks in it, uh, which are actually tweaked just enough where you, when you pull this frog out of the package, you don't have to do anything to them. I mean, it's ready to catch fish, it's ready to go. They also included this heat shrink that's gonna help keep water out. So when you're pausing that frog, it's not gonna sink on you. And then also this weight that's in the, in the bottom, it's perfectly weighted balanced so that frog lays perfectly flat on the surface. When it comes to the gear this is what Corey was using it was a 7.6 medium heavy Veritas PLX very similar to the one I like I like the 7.6 heavy Fantasista X so very similar in action which allows you to make really long casts but has tons of backbone to drive those hooks and pull them out of cover uh, Corey was also using 65 pound X5 it had it on a Revo rocket you know a nice fast reel so you can pick up that line to make another cast or to pick up the line when the fish is coming at you I prefer the Xenon X reel same thing it's just a little bit slower reel ratio, but I like how I can able to you know, lock the drag down and have that clicker drag when I'm fighting the fish. And I'll drop down to X5, 50 pound line. But this setup worked great. Corey caught a ton of fish on him. Actually caught more fish than I did on the frog. But let me tell you guys about the coal shad we were throwing. All right, if you guys haven't seen this, this is the new Berkeley coal shad. Man, I mean, this big, I don't even know where to begin, but the HD printing, this is perch color. Uh, it's what was imitating bluegill, I think, for us with these bars on it. Man, look at the teeth marks on this thing. I think it's incredible. But something else that I also like is this hook keeper that it has. It allows you to clip the hook in so you can skip under docks, trees, and it keeps that hook in perfect position when it's swimming. Also, the honeycomb shape allows them to use a more durable plastic but still have great swimming action. It also comes with a Fusion 19 treble on it. And uh, man, that, that bait, it's just caught me a ton of fish in the last couple of years. You guys are really gonna, you know, catch a lot of fish with this thing. And the rod I was using was the Shane LeHue 7-1 dock skipping rod. You know, I, I really love this rod for fishing in tight quarters, skipping under docks, trees, whatever it is. It also worked really well this week, just bombing casts with it. You know, I haven't really fished it in that much open water uh, with this rod, but it seemed like it hooked them really well. I think I only missed one fish out of you know, 20 or so. So it, it just handled the bait really well. And you could really feel that fish when it would come up behind the bait and push it forward. You'd actually feel it kind of in the rod tip before it would inhale it. It was really, really cool. Uh, I had it on a, um, a 6 8 to one Xenon MGX reel, a super smooth reel. I'm able to make really long forecasts. Uh, and it skips really well without getting backlash. And, uh, and then the other main thing was the line. I was running 15 pound, 100% uh, trilene fluorocarbon. Um, and the reason I love that line is because it's got less stretch than any of the other fluorocarbons. Uh, so you're able to clear the hooks if you get grass on it and really drive them hooks in when the fish eat it. All right, guys, that's the gear we used this week at Disney, man, I had a blast. I mean, even the camera guys, Daniel and Noel got to catch a lot of fish. We had a lot of fun. Uh, if you haven't seen the vlog, go check it out. All this tackle is available at Tackle Warehouse.